Hello, hello, Johnson Action Team. I'm extremely happy to have the opportunity yet again to be here with you, adding value. And today I'm going to be giving you seven tips on how you can close up the month correctly in these, the last few days of the week. But beforehand, I want to congratulate you for clicking on this video, for deciding to watch the information, because believe me, there's a lot of people that this video has reached. However, many of them decided to skip keep it probably for the reason that uh, it's just yet another video it's just some more information from the you know thousands of links that i get every day and this usually happens because these people they have lost hope they have lost uh, the they have lost touch with the dream. And uh, we are one of the only industries in the planet that grow with, you know, new people, people with no experience, probably like myself. I didn't have absolutely no experience being a business owner. Therefore, I didn't have any entrepreneurial intelligence. And you know, what happens with businesses and with our business, of course, is that once you are faced with rejection, once you're faced with difficulties, once you're faced with a no, if you don't have entrepreneurial intelligence, then your energy levels start to go down. And, uh, you know, people that don't have any entrepreneurial intelligence, they just give up because they don't understand something called the law of averages or the law of numbers. That uh, there has to be a certain amount of people that say no before you find somebody interested on your products or your services or whatever you have. Therefore, when somebody says no, you start you know, to calm down and start finding excuses, saying to yourself that, you know, I don't need the Amway business to survive. I don't need the Amway business to pay off my bills or my rent. Therefore, I'm just gonna go back to those things that I didn't want at the beginning. And those were the reasons why I decided to build the Amway business, but you know, they just don't realize. So massive congratulations for wanting to remain here, for wanting to learn. And I promise you that if you stay until the end, I'm gonna be sharing with you very, very good tips for your business. So number one, I'm gonna start with tip number one, and it is to believe in yourself, and it is to believe in your strategy, and it is to believe in your mentor. Most surely, at the beginning beginning of the month, you set yourself a goal. I don't know, this goal probably is the income related. I want to make 100, 200, 500, 1,000 pounds, and probably you're on track to achieve that. Congratulations. But probably you are, you are falling a bit behind and realize that uh, these last few days, Days. You know, they are just coming in fast. But believe me, the last few days in our business are usually the ones which are more productive. Probably you want to reconsider the amount of impacts that you are that you are creating or the amount of phone calls that you're making from your list. But so believe in yourself, believe that it's possible because somebody else has done it. And if somebody else has achieved to the silver producer, to the bronze uh, builder, to the bronze foundation, to three, six percent, or if somebody else has made 200, 500 pounds, whatever is your goal, you are no less than nobody else and you've got what it takes. It's just to reconsider the amount of impacts that you're taking and put yourself in qualification mode and go out and achieve it. Tip number two, and it's for you to take a new breather, to reconsider everything that's important to you, to reconsider that bigger dream or the reason why to, why you want to build the Amway business on the first time. And as I said on tip number one, put yourself in qualification mode. In the Amway business, only the only people who grow are those people who are in something called qualification mode. And, and what's this? Qualification mode is when you not only have the desire, but are, have taken the decision and are determined to go and make things happen. The way that you look, the way that your eyes shine, the way that you transmit energy, the way that you go after things is what, what's so contagious that even people, they don't know what your business is about. Probably they don't understand it or probably they don't know so much about your products. They never heard of it before, but uh, they are so convinced on whatever you have that they want to buy it, that they want to buy into your your idea or strategy, but put yourself in qualification mode, reconsider uh, uh, what your dream is and get in touch with that so that you go and make things happen. 
Here we go with tip number three. And now we're going to be talking about productivity. Now, this message goes for business builders. Now, and please do, know, do not negotiate with personal volume or productivity. We recommend that business builders achieve a minimum of 300 personal PV. That's in between the volume that you use for yourself or the products that you use for yourself and those purchased by customers or those products that you purchase yourself to sell to customers. How do, how do you achieve 300 PV? Now, number one, being a product of the product. Number one, um, becoming the best and most loyal customer yourself. Probably in between your double X, your omega-3, your cleaning products, your laundry detergent, your mouthwash and toothpaste, you're gonna be using in between 80 to 120 PV. Obviously, if you have a big family, probably even more. But once you have your personal PV or your consumption point sorted, the aim is to have probably five loyal customers that each one of them purchases 20 PV to 40 PV to 100 PV. You know, it's not a lot, five people, probably six, probably seven. I don't know, each of us have a different number, but this 300 PV do not come necessarily from what you have to purchase for yourself, but what customers buy. And that's what business builders do. Because if you learn how to generate 300 PV, this is, uh, the, this is what you're gonna be teaching to your future ABOs. This is productivity. This is what people have to do in order to build a successful and a duplicatable business. Personal use, customers who buy products from me, and in the future, if you already know how to achieve 300 PV, the aim is that next month you generate growth. 310, 350, 400, 500, 600, 1,000 PV or more. You know, there's no limit to the amount of customers who can go into your website and purchase products. You just become a connector and allow people to use the products and that you help them, obviously, with the benefits. And in the future, with referrals and uh, with your social media strategy, you're gonna be having many more customers. So do not negotiate with your personal volume. 300 PV is what we recommend. Tip number four, if you are not a business builder yet, or probably if you are brand new in the business and you do not have customers, my recommendation is that you generate at least 100 personal PV. Why? There's several reasons for this. As I said in tip number three, uh, it's your personal consumption, you use the products, uh, you fall in love with the products, you get to know all the benefits of the product, not necessarily uh, because you want to sell them, but because once you're in love with them, it's much easier to recommend and to talk about the benefits or whatever uh, experience you've had with other people. Here in Europe, we have something called the Leads Program. And the Leads Program is a program where Amway sends you customers and new ABOs that you don't know to join your team. Now, this is when you achieve 100 personal PVs, that's the PV for yourself and customers, uh, for three consecutive months, Amway will get you into the leads program. Obviously, you have to opt in, create your uh, personal Amway website, but uh, once you do that personally, uh, we get three, five, six, sometimes even 10 or more customers and people who want to purchase products uh, into our business. But this is a goal that you have to run for. Do not allow yourself to go below 100 PV because that means that it will take you another three months once you start again to be part of the leads program. So I massively recommend you to do that. So go and create brand experience. Not only a stay or just say it's enough to do 100 PV because I purchased products for myself, go and generate brand experience. Something that's working really good for Diana and for myself is the new Beauty You Glow gummies. Every time we go to the hairdressers, to the barbers, to whatever, wherever there's people, we take our gummies with us for the simple reason that they are delicious and they have very well known and very good ingredients. So whenever we speak to somebody, we take a gummy and I say, hey, try this gummy. 
brownies. They are delicious. They are delicious. Only just yesterday we were in the hairdressers. There were uh, there were four hairdressers and they were customers. We generated two new ABOs in these uh, uh, hairdressers and two new sales from the customers just with the beauty you glow, generating a brand experience. People trying it and they say, "Wow, this tastes very good. What is it?" I say, I, "This is so good. This is hydrolyzed collagen with uh, uh, hyaluronic acid with vitamin C." EA, selenium, biotin, uh, pomegranate extract, and it's so good for your hair, for your skin, and for your nails. You know, people, they want to try that. Okay, probably you might want to say to me, I, um, beauty you glow or nutrition is not my strategy, so work with your strategy. Just go and generate a brand experience. Glister toothpaste is a very good door opener for the simple reason that you don't have to explain to people how to brush their teeth. Just talk about the benefits of the toothpaste, what it's going to be doing for them or the mouth mouthwash or the old the old fabric bridge just go and generate a brand experience with a customer just from here till the end of the month go and put your products in front of other people here we go with tip number five and it's for you to generate a follow-up campaign now what do i mean by that if you've been in the business for some time, probably you already have customers registered on your website. So I invite you to go to my office, my customer list, download the list of uh, uh, registered customers and start making a campaign through MailChimp, that's email marketing, WhatsApp marketing, chat marketing, or phone calls, whatever you want to do. If you do not have registered customers, then go and check how many impacts or the people that uh, you've spoken talking about your products or the business probably they said to you you know i have to think about that i'm gonna ask, i'm gonna talk to my pillow i'm gonna talk to my wife husband and i'm gonna come back with an answer those people that haven't decided yet or even the people who have purchased from you you need to have a list to follow up even if those people said no, they are an impact that you generated. And this is a very good opportunity to generate a campaign to remind them that you are here because, you know, for them, this is not a priority. This is a priority for you. And I remind you, you are in qualification mode and you need to, obviously, you are the one who is interested on them to try your products or whatever you are offering to them. So right now, it is the time to uh, generate a campaign, probably with a new product that we've launched recently that they, they don't know about and they can benefit from, probably from a promotion or an offer that Amway has launched, probably with, uh, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to you wanna do the campaign about, add value to them. As I always teach, go to the Amway blog connections and I'll give you so many ideas on how you can and teach something to them and add value. Or for example, how you recently realized that you need 1000 milligrams of calcium just for blood circulation. And that's why if people don't have it, they need to take it as a supplement. Or why you've recently realized that protein is so important for our muscles and everything. I don't know, whatever you want to do, but just generate a campaign so that when they receive it, they are reminded that you exist that you have a business, that they are yet to answer to you, that there's a new product that they didn't, they didn't know about. But make sure that you go and create a campaign to follow up. This is the best moment to do that. That will help you to generate more points or probably people interested or probably even referrals to other people that you don't know about. And because you've generated this campaign, these people have uh, given you uh, somebody else for you to introduce to your products or your business. Here we go with tip number six. If you've been in the business for some time already, most surely you already have APOs registered on your downline. My invitation is for you to go right now to the LOS map and identify those people that you can work with. What do I mean by that? Probably those people who are active in the business, probably those people who need a boost of energy, those people that you can call and that you can, you can reactivate them with your energy, with a clear strategy on how you're going to help them achieve goals. Those people in your business who are active and want to run goals, they are the best 
people to work with. So identify who can be and you take your phone and you say, hey, Charles, listen, I've been thinking of this strategy that can really work. I'm going to help you. Let's work together. Let's do this. Let's do that. You can probably include your mentor or whoever in your line of sponsorship who is connected so that they give you ideas on how to contact those people in your downline that you can work with. Other people that uh, are very good are those people who have zero PV. Just uh, I'm going to open brackets here. If you are brand new and if you don't have anyone registered on your downline, don't focus so much on this point, but go back to the previous one to number five and focus your strategy on a, a follow-up campaign for customers or people that uh, you've talked about in the past. But uh, uh, I'm going to close brackets and I'm going to continue. Those people who have zero PV, they, they are people who registered as part of your business for a reason. Probably they want to consume the products. Probably they are very well down in added energy, but they can be very good consumers if you call them and if you tell them, hey, Peter, listen, I've tried this new product that Amway recently launched and it's so unbelievably good. I really want you to try it. It is fantastic. It does this, it does that. I'm gonna help you. Let's make an order so that you can benefit. And uh, you know, in this boost of energy that you are gonna give them, yes, you're probably gonna be getting uh, PV, you're going to be getting volume, but most importantly, maybe these people can become the bridge in between you finding somebody else who is ready to do the business right now, but they can be referred to you by this person who's doing zero PV, who's forgotten or who's probably just left the business. But if you ask for referrals, you know, you can get to new people, people who are proactive, people who can do, you know, things even quicker uh, than you and than anybody else. But you need to look at the map, call those people and get into a strategy to get these people uh, uh, being active again. Now we go with tip number seven, and this is the commitment that you are going to be making with yourself right now, that at the end of the month, you are going to be celebrating and that you are going to be closing up the month in a style. Whatever your goal is, whether it's an income goal of 100, 200, 500, 1000 pounds, euros, dollars, or whether it is to achieve a new pin, three, six, nine, uh, bronze foundation, bronze builder, silver producer, platinum. I don't know what your goal is. Or probably it is to get more customers or it's probably to uh, get new APOs. Just uh, make sure that you make the commitment that at the end of the month, you are going to be celebrating that. As I said at the beginning on tip number one and two, it is qualification mode. Qualification mode is when things happen. It's when people, even though they don't understand your business, they don't know what it is, but they connect with you. They connect with your energy. They connect with this thing that you have that cannot be explained. They connect with your products, even though probably they've never heard of Neutralite artistry. And it's because you are in qualification mode, my friend. Here we are to help you and support you. And I'm going to speak on behalf of your mentor or your line of sponsorship. We are here to work shoulder to shoulder with you. This is one of the advantages that we have in network marketing that are not very other traditional business. You are going to be working with somebody who's got the experience, who knows how to do this, who has the know-how and who's ready to fight with you. So just raise your hand, commit to yourself and do not give your mind absolutely no opportunity to miss out. There's no chance for failure here. You're going to be learning a lot, a lot in the process and we're going to be having loads of fun. So let's go make things happen happen qualification mode, get yourself happy and follow these seven tips that I've just given you for a successful end of the month. I assure you that we are going to be celebrating the most amazing adventure, all the people that you're going to touch, all the people who are going to come and be part of whatever your dream or your, uh, your, your reason for building the Amway businesses. I wish you a very, very, very successful end of the month, guys.